Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shall we warm also to everyone dirt as well as which include the Judas children, the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Indians who are still oppressed together according to the book of Jeremiah 15.33. But to whom is the life, pertaining to adoption, the giving of the Lord, the promises, the cloud and the covenants according to the book of Romans chapter 9. The less you believe it, the more it is. So, so we will start with... Uh, This article, the rubble are uh, homeschool because health and happiness begin at home. Okay, if you know my channel a little bit, a little bit, and then you know that I sometimes uh, go into uh, herbs that I gather myself, things like that, right? And here's, um, you know, a few reasons why to use herbs and why you should also use herbs. You know, I don't say you have to gather them like me. You know, uh, like basically raw, you know, or fresh. Um, of course, you know, in a height that, you know, where dogs don't piss at, you know, if, it, if the plant is two meters, two meters from the ground, of course, you take t um, from, t from the top of the plant, okay? Because a plant don't grow the other way around. That means a plant, if you take the top of the plant, it's not like the top of the plant was on the ground once before, so a dog peed was peeing on it and then it grow like two meters so you pick up basically the the part of it that where a dog peed on it no it's not possible because if you watch how a plant grows out of the plant the top grows okay if you if you can get it but okay you know because you have some i talked with uh, some russians gok and bagok and they t told me oh yeah you get a herbs there I said, yeah, why not? And they said, oh, because our dogs pee on it. And so, how is that possible? How is it possible that a dog can pee two meters high? Please tell me that. So, the dog starts to fly in the air two meters and then he pees over it. Okay, that shows you how, how these people think, you know. They don't, they don't go into herbs, they don't go into uh, different studies that are important for their health. Uh, for their life, okay. So let's read this book. Why use herbs? Um, Self-sufficiency, cost-effectiveness, healing, not hiding symptoms, safety, and more. Okay. So sickness prevention, things like that, man. Okay. The herbal homeschool. So we will read that article and then we will go into some few scriptures. Okay. Outdoor Alyssa filed, filed under everything herb monsterless, uh, masterless. The lachen. Text basic. Basics of herbs, benefits, herbs, why use herbs? Okay, so that's just an idea, of course, what you can read here, but I will read it to you. Why should I use herbs? Another good question I have been asking myself as I begin investing in more of my free time, which is limited, as any uh, mama, okay, mom with a growing family will tell you. Into learning about herbalism, I have been questioning why I want to become proficient in using herbs. Aside from a good excuse to be outside, or all the as my uh, as my toddler says, tinkering in my herb garden here are a few reasons I came up with. Then fleshed out with information from uh, those more knowledgeable than myself. Self-sufficiency. This is by far the first reason that popped into my head. Okay, the lache for my English. I'm from Germany. You know, my English is uh, also limited. I love feeling confident and prepared to be able to help treat minor illnesses at home without having to run to the drugstore or doctor. That's a good point. Knowing what our bodies need and how to provide it to maintain health is a priceless skill to have in this age of toxins, artificial food and depleted soil. Herbs work with your body to heal rather than simply covering up the symptoms. An excellent example as described in the ABC Herbal is the fact that the common cold IS, the cure, which is the reason that doctors have not found a cure for it yet. Most people want a feel better quick fix, which is why tell they uh, why they uh, stifle the sniffles. By looking at the cold as the cure, you can choose to give herbal remedies to support the immune system using the unpleasant symptoms as a guide for what to use i.e. focus on supporting the respiratory system or the digestive system etc. 
herbs are natural obviously you can't get more natural than something blocked right off the dirt okay i don't know i don't like how she calls it okay because you can find dirt at these at these plantations okay and what chemicals they put on the stuff to let it grow better what they call it you know <coughs> you know that's why you should not um, listen to to women so much you know because um, they you know they have basically no understanding right they could buy a tea in the shop and tell you that's the same that's the same if, if you um, just pick it out uh, of the dirt as she calls it they would tell you that but how is it possible if the if the tea from the shop had all that deliver away and you don't even know where it comes from it <laughs> even, even if you read it it can't be true uh, it can be false so let's continue many drugs such as aspirin are made from herbs <laughs> and plants. The drug companies isolate the chemicals, tweak them until the mo molecules are unique, patent them, patent them and sell them to us for a small fortune. Many drugs also have other artificial compounds added. Personally, I am grateful to modern medicine when it takes, when it is a um, definite necessity, but for the most part I would like to be able to go back to the most natural form of treatment of the treatment that is effective. Herbs are cost effective. I love that herbs are accessible and inexpensive enough to be able to stock up on things that you might need to treat minor illnesses or use preventatively in the future and I love that they will keep for such a long time when shorted properly. Here's some more info on buying herbs to stock your apothecary. There is a less there is less of risk of negative side effects from herbs. Many websites I research, including Dr. Axis and Livestrong.com, confirm that herbs are safer than prescription drugs and generally have a lower chance of negative side effects. You see, it's also a good point. They are uh, gentler on the body, and while that may mean they work slower, they also work safer. It doesn't mean that, you know, certain herbs that I use myself, um, you know, they are basically faster than uh, medicine, okay? I just leave it there, man. Okay, because also I use toxic ones, but it's not the toxic what you can get from from these uh, physicians of no value. It's more toxic in a way of you can use it, but not so much, right? Certain plants and uh, blossoms that I use and things like that, you know, leaves and whatever. So it's healthy onto a certain point if I take it. For example, one leaf, it has a healing effect, but if I take two, I could be poisoned and you know die right there basically you know in, 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 in between an hour or so. So let's continue. These are just a few of the benefits of using herbs to maintain health and treat, I treat minor illness. However, like any medical treatment, there can be also and there are also and there can also be concerns. Okay, especially for example with mushrooms. There are certain mushrooms that um, that I saw that I identified um, where I gather stuff, okay, and you know, just when I'm outside basically. Uh, and certain of them, as I said, are so toxic that I could actually just bite one time and die of it, you know, <laughs> without any, you know, uh, ESO coming and trying to help me or so. No, okay, it's too late, you know. <laughs> Um, however, like any medical, so you shouldn't go out there and you know do stuff without studying. Okay, that's not that's not what I do. That's not what you should do. Okay, it says the Lord created medicines out of the earth. It doesn't say eat everything what you see. That's a big difference. I will repeat this until I am blue in the face. Uh, I am not giving medical advice and I am not advocating avoiding going to the doctor for concerns or stopping conventional medical treatment of problems. Okay, um, you know, I wouldn't also, but to a certain point you should avoid it, of course, to go to the doctor. As the scripture says, these are physicians of no value and Yahweh kills and he makes a life and he gives you illness and he heals you from illnesses. And even if you use herbs, he makes you to find that herb. That's it. 
In fact, next we will explore knowing your contrain indications and wisely deciding when to treat with herbs and when to stick with conventional medicine. Why are you interested in learning about herbalism? Leave a comment and share your dogs. You can pin this article to Pinterest by clicking on the um, photo below. So basically what I believe is there is a herb for every sickness out there. You don't need chemical stuff, okay? And that's, uh, you know, you can you can think about it yourself, okay, if that's true. Uh, so let's go into the first scripture. Because where does, where does chemical stuff come from? <laughs> you see? Job 30, 13 and 4. But ye are forgers of lies, ye are all physicians, physicians of no value. Okay, why does it say it? Verse 5. Oh, that ye would altogether hold your peace, and it should be your wisdom. Hear now my, reso my reasoning, and hearken to the pleadings of my lips. Would you speak wickedly for God, and talk deceitfully for him? Ecclesiasticus 38, for the Lord had created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor them. I know I go in, into the scriptures a lot, but it's important, you know. Sometimes you really have to, like Hitler said, you know, repeat stuff for people that they get it, you know. So my brothers also may need that man, okay, to be, to be reminded. Um, a little bit more, you know, of the okay, I myself do it. Genesis 1 30, uh, 29 to 30, and God said, Behold, I have, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed, to you it shall be for a meat. My brother said, you know, um, uh, here from Thiemann, you know, from Germany, he said, like, basically, um, you can eat fruits, everything which has seed, you know, even banana has seed, you know, apple, of course, everything which has seed, you know. I was, wasn't reading that in the Bible, um, but it can be true, you know, because actually, like, you can read it here, you know, and God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, you know. So basically, it can mean, it can mean that, you know. So, uh, Genesis 1, 11 and 12, okay, no, this does not mean, oh, you know, the New Testament is wicked and you have to be vegan or vegetarian because here it says and every tree in which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed to you it shall be for meat no that doesn't mean that you can't eat flesh from animals okay like we can read in the scripture don't judge somebody who eats flesh and don't judge somebody who eats not flesh okay genesis 1 11 to 12 and god said let the earth bring forth grass the herb yielding seed and the fruit tree yielding food after his kind who seed is in itself upon the earth and it was so Matthew 15 and 13 what he answered and said every plant which my heavenly father had not planted shall be rooted up okay and for example if if I'm at my job you know I feel better and I actually you know I do better if I have certain herbs with me you know I just take them straight into my job with my with my um, boxes that I you know uh, put them in and things like that you know and I can eat while I work that's um, something which of course not everybody can do but you know because I'm for a PC or a computer okay um, you know what I can I can do that you know while I'm working of course not too much but you know sometimes I just bite in a leaf or take one leaf and I just feel better and you know, I can survive the, the next hour basically without, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, grilling, grilling on the table. Uh, you know the, you know what I mean. Matthew 15 and 30. But he answered and said, "Every plant which my heavenly Father had not planted shall be rooted up." 
Isaiah 61 and 11 for as the earth bring it forth her bud and uh, as the garden causeth the things that are sown in it to spring forth so the Lord God will cause righteousness and grace to spring forth before all all the, the nations Psalms um, 1 and 2 okay and that starts with raising up the 144k and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season his leaf also shall not wither and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper Proverbs 3 and 9 honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of all thine increase okay because if you plant for example an apple, t apple tree okay and you know you wait a time until it grows and you can get the fruit the fruit will always have the vitamins in it okay? and that's the beautiful thing just like righteousness okay Yahweh planted righteousness all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Hashem okay he planted righteousness on this earth and guess what it's growing and then the fruit, fruit is finished and then people can see it you see that's why wickedness will not prevail on this earth Shalom